Hello, welcome to the season one recap of Conquer the Capital. Starting off here in Hertha Berlin, nine more years. I think season two will be there. But I shall see you right after this for a little recap of the year and let you know what I'm looking at doing for season two. See you right after this. Hello, welcome to the season review then for Hertha Berlin. Make sure before we get started, hit that sub button. We love it. We've got big money to spend, so let's get the big audience in to have a look. We've got big budget, 100 million pounds, over 100 million pounds, helped by the fact that Davy Selka is leaving. Happy with that. Kind of irrelevant. But yeah, we had a good season on the whole. I'm happy with it. We're going to skip forward now, and hopefully I should get the review. I like the little review they've put together this year. It's nicer than what it... Here we go. End of season review. At her for Berlin. So new arrivals. Who do they like the most? Schwolo. Agreed. I didn't even do that. Although it says signing of the season was Anil Erkman-Hodzic. Happy with that as well. 22 years old. I think he's going to get better and better. We're going to keep him and Stark together at centre-back. Oh, doesn't take you back to the screen you're on. Lovely. In terms of other signings, Kadira I'm happy with. He was cheap. He's going to be good. Romero wasn't that good. He's going to move on. Guendouzi as well. Don't expect any of the loans to come back. Vinicius Jr. isn't going gonna, isn't gonna to come back, even though he was great goal-scoring-wise. We're going to let him leave. Franco Vazquez, I like. But yeah, in terms of transfers, I'm quite happy. Schwallow, wonderful keeper. Absolutely wonderful keeper. Let's get to the big results of the season. Piontek got 21 goals. We only filled 77% of our stadium. I reckon that'll fly up next year. Obviously, with the Olympic Stadium in Berlin, we're going to get more money from that as we should do. Didn't lose many games. We lost six games all season. We lost three less than Bayern did, which makes you think if we'd have gone a bit more gung-ho, maybe what a couple of these draws, we'd have won the league, obviously. I mean, one of those draws specifically, if we'd have beaten Bayern in either game, we'd be champions right now. So it's fine. It happens. I expect us to really challenge next year. We've got money to do it. So expect big signings. What are our moments to remember? Yeah, 5-1 win against Bayer Leverkusen. If you want to see that, episode two, right? Love it. That was such a great game. Then there was the Leipzig 4-0, which was, yeah, in February. I think we showed that one live as well. That was a good game. Did I show that live? I might not have. Now I think about it. And goal of the season was Mateus Cunha. I can't click on it from here. Top quality strike from Mateus Cunha as he scores a powerful 11 foot and 23 metres. Yeah, I like Mateus Cunha. I think two up front next season. It's my thought. Him and Piontek. Or maybe him behind Piontek, actually, now I think about it. In an attacking midfield role. Financially, Hulk, interesting that Hulk was our second highest sold shirt and Vazquez in third, given they were both new signers, right? Happy with that. Piontek did Piontek things. I'm happy with that. Make good money. I mean, looking at this, sponsorship was huge. Competition price money uh, money of 85 million. You can see where the transfer budget comes from, right? In the Bundesliga, it doesn't take an awful lot to give you that big transfer budget. So Germany is a real fun league to manage. It's a real fun country, not a league, to manage in. I really recommend it. But yeah, happy with that. Happy with the money coming in. Two new deals for 30 million. We're in the Champions League now, so we should get even more money next year. Hopefully, anyway. How you lined up. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It says Hulk on the right, which is interesting. Cunha's been <laughs> just left out of the team. I think of this team, expect that next season. Hulk, uh, Vinicius Jr. is not going to be there. Franco Vazquez might not play as much. Tussar. If you don't know, you, don't, <laughs> you need to go back and watch the first series, the first season of this. Oh, this boy wronged me. I'm oh, just... Oh, it was that tackle and it haunts me even to now. Silly, silly challenge. All right, let's go back to that screen, please. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Average rating highest was Swallow again. He'll be number one now for the next season. He's saved himself. Let's have a ch Charlie Pumphrey didn't win a single award. Came second. Didn't win. I don't think they have manager of the month, do they, actually, in Germany? That might be why I didn't win it. Tussar. We asked him to play quite an aggressive role, so I'm not as annoyed. The one red card probably cost us the league in losing to Dortmund, but hey, it is what it is. In terms of fans play the season, Swallow, I agree. I probably would have given it to Swallow. Ahmed Hodzic got young player of the season. Big up, Ahmed Hodzic. Getting signing of the season as well. Happy with that. Cunha's goal of the season, we can't see it, unfortunately, because there should be a button here that should be click it. <laughs> Feature request. Top goal scorer, top assist. Piontek is so important how we play. And the way we moved on in the season, Piontek became even more important how we play. So I want to get him some support next year. Absolutely certain. And yeah, we're looking at highest average rate, like I said, Schwallow, only a 7.1. We need to look to up that. We need to go higher with that. 
And yeah, most goals by a player in a match. Piontek, free, scored a hat-trick in a game. I can't remember which game it was. Probably the Leverkusen game, might have been. But yeah, Piontek did the business this year. 25 years old, expect him to get better and better. The guy's got more goals in him, and hopefully we'll get most of them. Although, right after he comes in, we'll let him go. Okay, let's have a look around then. So in terms of teams that got relegated, anything here that's interesting? Nope. Uh, here we go. Okay, so yeah, looking at the league, relegated from the Bundesliga, Frankfurt, uh, Mines. I might look to raid Frankfurt, I'm going to be honest. There is some talent here that I'm interested in. Andre Silva strikes me as a perfect, perfect player to either back up or partner or challenge Piontek. They got relegated. I reckon we could do a bit of a deal there to get Andre Silva. Another player I like as well. Where is Philippe Kostic? I know he's 28. He could be a bargain though. To play on this left-hand side, we're going to look to play maybe a 4-2-3-1. We want to be more aggressive next year because we're going to have more of the ball, I think, naturally as teams start to defend more against us. Having someone that could be good as like a delivery there and he can also play left wing back, which I think could be important here in Mittelstadt. I know we've got Jorge coming in, but we can have a third option there, I think, would be fine. So yeah, expect a little bit of raiding going on of relegated teams. Let's have a look at the Premier Division. I haven't got a name fix because Premier Division is right. Oh, I ain't finished yet. When does their season finish? Right, one second. I'll come right back and I'll show you what happened on the last day of the year. I mean, any one of four, two from four here. Southampton, I hope Southampton get relegated. Don't take it like that, Southampton fans. I just want to raid your team and football manager. Back right after this. One quick thing. We've got our uh, vision, long-term vision for the club. They want us to finish top half next season. Yes, I like that a lot. They haven't added anything in. Increased commercial revenue. We can do that. Minimum four-year contracts for first-team players. Depending on who they are, totally agree. High-tempo pressing football. We will be doing that next season. I'm going to build a squad that can do that. Develop players using the club's youth system. Probably not going to be an issue for us. But yeah, reach first knockout run we can do. So I'm going to accept that. Just thought you might want to see that before we come back. Where are we going on our training camp? You can see that as well. Can we go anywhere fun? Let's go to Italy. That's the only one there I like, I like the sound of. All right, I shall see you and let you know what happened in the Premier League right after this. Right, so we've got our relegated teams. <sighs> I, I jinxed it. I asked them to be relegated and it happened. I'll tell you what, Chris Wood's scoring 24 goals. Big up my Chris Wood. He does love it. Every now and then on Foot Manager, he will just pop up and score 25 goals. But <laughs> more importantly, relegated teams. Leeds have gone down. I might have to do a bit of poaching there. There is some talent in that squad. And then the other one, Brighton as well. That's what happens when I'm not in charge. That's what happens. It's fine. We can live with it. Might like to pinch a couple of their players as well, actually, while we're at it. And uh, so expect some reunions from the Brighton save. And I'll tell you what, there are some players in this Southampton team I wouldn't mind stealing either. Looking at you, Danny Ings. I'm looking at you. You'd love it in the Bundesliga, Danny. It's a lovely place. <laughs> Might be a bit expensive, but we've got the money. Let's have a look at the Spanish Premier Division then. So Liverpool won the, just to regard actually, Liverpool won the champ. Nothing too mental happened there. The top six is the top six. Spurs narrowly missed out and sacked Mourinho. They're in a capital. All I'm saying, if they came to me with a job offer, they are in a capital. We could end up at Villa. We could end up at Tottenham. I saw Villa and got confused. Don't hate me if it happens. <laughs> it won't happen. But if they offer me an interview, I'm going for it. I'm not going to apply for it because I quite like being a Berlin. We've still got a job to do here. So uh, then we need to look at Spain. Why did I say that in such a weird accent? I apologise to everyone for that accent. Spanish First Division, Alaves, Huesca and Cadiz have all gone down. Kind of what you'd expect. Is there any talent there that can be poached? There's probably some talent here that can be poached. I'll do that off camera. Some interesting names. Obviously, Lucas Clunter going down to the second tier of Spanish football. He asked to leave. He asked to leave. Don't hate me. He asked to leave. <laughs> it's his own fault. Um, in terms of winning the league, Barcelona won the league easily. Messi getting 20 goals. Maxi Gomez top with 22 goals in the goal scoring charts. I like Maxi Gomez. If the right offer was there. Who knows? But yeah, no real surprises there, I'd say again. This is very fun. <laughs> no surprises, no surprises, no surprises. Serie A. Let's have a look. Inter 1, Serie A. Juve only just scraping into the Champions League. Really interesting stuff. Atalanta doing business again. Big up the Atalanta. We love to see it. If you weren't on Twitch, <laughs> watching me on Twitch last year, we did a 24-hour live stream with Atalanta. We lost the Champions League in the 24th hour, so I was both shattered and completely destroyed we lost badly to Man City it wasn't good but 
Inter winning the league, Martinez getting the top goal scorer. I think he'll probably move on, actually. He'll end up at a Barcelona or Real Madrid. Talking of which, let's go and have a look of big clubs. French, as you know, is it just, it's just Ligue 1, right? But we have the rights to the S. Ligue 1, Uber Eats, as you do. Oh, Nice could get relegated. Oh, that's interesting. I doubt they will. But if they do, we're probably going to go on a bit of a raid there as well. There are some talented players in there. I want Atal. Atal would be perfect, actually. We might look to pinch him regardless. Kasper Dolberg, classic name if you've played football manager in the last 10 years. It's pretty much been a go well, not 10 years because he's only 23, but last six, seven years, he's been kind of a go-to name. There's some players actually in there. There's some big talent I like. I might have to come back to you on that one. Um, winning the league. I mean, come on. Say all together. PSG had a counter with no issues. With Icardi, Neymar, Mbappe. I mean, look at the average ratings. I bet you the top five. Ben Yedder. Oh, he mugged me right off. The top five of the top seven. I think that says everything you need to hear. PSG are dominant. No issues with that. I don't think the Champions League final has happened yet. So maybe, should we jump forward quickly? Uh, yeah, Man United versus PSG. So PSG could win the Champions League. All right, tell you what, we'll come back. When's that game? The 29th. All right, I shall see you. I'm going to have to do that in the edit now. Why would I do that? Why would I? I'm an idiot. Why would I click? Now I've got to re-click myself. Hurry up, game. Bah. Bah, I'm on the Europa League. So let list the thumbs up. When the rain is pouring in your face And the whole world is on your case I love you Holy fuck, this guy is good I'm loving it I've got to end that recording. Now I'm going to hear myself soon. I had a curtain. So our defense is fine. It's just adding attacking players that can score goals. Right. All right, so we've we have come to another screen. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to edit that. Hold on. All right, so here we are. That click was really hard to edit for someone that doesn't have to edit. That was that was all my skill, none of skill. But you know, I tell you what, manager, players, manager of the year, big up your boy. Come on, we only win silverware for managers. Personal glory, not all we want, but. Bundesliga team of the year. That's ridiculous. I am fuming. Absolutely fuming at that. Piontek, joint top goal scorer, gets mugged off for some guy who rejected us anyway. That is awful. Who is that? <laughs> I know who it is. Jonas Hoff. Like, that is awful. That Tell me there's not big club bias. Nine of the... Wait, hold on. Seven. <laughs> Seven of the 11 of Bayern players. That's what we've got to overcome. We can do it. Short low in goal, as he should be. Uh, oh, has it told me that twice? It has told me that twice. Oh, no, that's the players' team of the year, which is... Right, so... <laughs> not sure if you've noticed. That is nine of the 11 players. Stop. Do Bayern players get more votes? They definitely voted for each other. That's ridiculous. Absolutely fuming. me. And Vasquez now could talk German. But what we were going to look at was the Champions League. Who would have played in it? Liverpool would have played in it. I don't know why I'm going this way. I could have just done it the simple way. Who won the final... PSG are Champions League title holders now. Who scores? Icardi and, and Herrera. Wait, what? Miggy Almiron now plays for Man United. When did that happen? That's quite a good deal, actually. I don't mind that. 
It's a little bit expensive for a player who's getting on. You play Bruno Fernandes in centre midfield. Oh, why would you do it? Why would you do it to yourselves? Two super clubs coming head to head. Well, they signed uh, Marcus Llorente. That's why they're probably quite good. Finishing part of that team. I'll tell you what, that was a pretty good final, actually, all things considered. PSG come out on top, Champions League winners. A capital club won it. <laughs> Doesn't mean anything to us, but you know we might end up rocking up in Paris. It's almost certain we're going to end up at PSG at some point. So uh, <laughs> we've got something to emulate now. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at the Europa League actually while we're here. Who won the Europa League? Uh, Bayern Munich won it. On penalties, oh, Salzburg, I'm devastated for you. Who missed? Adeyemi as well. Oh, we'll have a little scout of him because he might want to leave now. You never know. Take advantage of a situation. Bayern weren't that good. Nil nil. Actually, I say that Bayern weren't that good. 25 shots, 10 on target. Fine. <laughs> Bayern Munich won it. There isn't a conference league yet, right? That doesn't start till next year. But yeah, it looks like we'll be going into the Champions League up against the likes of PSG. For goodness sake. <laughs> but anyway, I think that wraps it up, really. That wraps up all the information that we've got. Transfers, I'm going to be looking for striker, attacking midfielder, and probably a central midfielder. Our defence, we conceded the least goals of anyone in the league. Don't expect us to make too many additions there. We have 100 million. Maybe we spend it on three players. Knowing me, I'll probably spend it on 30 because I'm just... I can't resist a bargain, me. So if you want to see what happens there, come back tomorrow. If you want to come back tomorrow, we'll go into the big screen. Hit that sub button. It's the only way to find out. Only way to see what's happening. It isn't. You can come back anyway. But also, if you want to be told when that comes out, hit that notification bell. I asked... Well, not last episode, I said it worked right. You did, you did try it, right? Just, just go down there. Top stuff. Love it very much. <laughs> for those that did it, for the one or two that did. Thank you very much. I shall see you next time. Let's conquer the capital. Season one's over. Here comes season two.